Ladies and gentlemen, let's be honest. Is there a better way to end the weekend than with a vegan teenager that has early onset dementia? Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel today. I am filming or have been filming a what I eat in a day. I'm saying that purely because it is already 2.41 p.m. So I've clearly already eaten today, but I've been so busy. I haven't got the chance to sit down and um, film or like talk. So I'm just gonna talk you through my day and what I've done so far. So I woke up and I got my booster shot which my arm is already a little bit Oh, we bit can't talk from, about that. But that's fine. And I just want to say, go get your booster if you're watching this and if you are or not vaccinated. So you can't go get a booster right now. Do your ovaries hurt too? Or do those not work anymore since you've been vegan? What are you doing? You were so behind. Please go get vaccinated. Please. Please. And if you are, go get your booster. So that's what I did this morning. And then I came back here and I actually set up my bed and a little bit more of my room, but I'm not going to show you because I will have like a full room transformation video coming out and I don't want to reveal my room until then. So I came back here, put together my room and then my mom, one of my friends and her mom came over to see the new place. And then we walked down to a place called the village idiot for brunch, I guess. I got their V. <laughs> Dude, you cannot make this shit up. They just make fun of vegans with what they name this stuff. Morningstar Farms, literally Lucifer Farms. They're, they're just throwing it in your face. And I don't know about you guys, but I counted 11 cuts in the first one minute of this video. So her attention span is about six seconds. And as much as I'm kind of joking about this, I've had past vegans comment on my channel say that they have permanent brain and neurological damage after being on a diet that's deficient in animal protein for such a long period of time. Vegan burger, which was like a house-made lentil patty, I think. It was no good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I won't be not be going back there. At least she's honest. It was like is a, a vegan burger ever good lettuce, though? Lettuce, pickles, some mustard. Well, let me correct that. A vegan burger is good if they cook it on the same surface that they did the meat patties on. They gave me that was like really weird mustard. And then the patty that was so mushy. It was not a patty. It was like paste. I don't know. Nothing that I was too excited about. It was not the tastiest thing, but I ate it. It was fine. Um, and it was also $15 and didn't come with anything. Like no fries. Potatoes cost two cents. I don't know why they couldn't add some fries on the plate. It would have made it a little bit better, but they didn't. I mean, to be fair, you went to a restaurant called The Village Idiot and... <laughs> <laughs> it tasted like crap. You paid too much. I mean, I mean, I mean come on. Let, let, let's put an A and B together, young lady. It's okay. And then we were just walking up and down, like going to the shops, and came across Happy Ice, which is a Italian ice place that I've been wanting to go to for the longest time. And I got Italian ice, pineapple, mango, and watermelon with oat milk soft serve. That was delicious. That made up for my not so good. A vegan burger and then Italian ice for breakfast. Mm burger but i really wanted to film today because um i went out for breakfast brunch whatever so that was fun and then tonight i have a few friends coming over and we're doing dip night which i saw on tiktok and i wanted to do where everyone makes and brings a dip to <laughs> we're like a bunch of dip shits oh my god hey she does look kind of pretty at this angle doesn't she not like a party, I don't know, a dip party, whatever. Uh, this is gonna be fun. And there's going to be six party. of us, five of us are vegan, so the sixth person is bringing a vegan dip, just so they're not the only one eating it, of course. So I thought it would be a really fun thing to film because you guys get to see vegan six different vegan dips. I'm going to be attempting to make a spinach artichoke dip in a bread bowl, which I could not be more excited about. And that's going to be at like 7.30 tonight. So I don't really know. I mean, it's already 2.30. Just to let you guys know, this is not going to be a typical breakfast, lunch, and dinner type of video, but it's also to show you guys that not every single person, including myself, eats a normal, like, meal schedule every single day that sometimes just doesn't. I, I mean, this this is, like, completely ridiculous. I don't know what they're paying this girl. I don't know why she's popular. I don't know how anyone can listen to her for more than three minutes. She's doing a day of eating, but she's just sitting there in her room showing B-roll, like, happen so just let you know that's not gonna be today i don't know exactly i'm not gonna call any of my meals breakfast lunch and dinner they're just food that i ate today so that's what i'm gonna be showing you guys i'm about to head to whole foods because i don't not have uh, like young lady no one is going to sue you when they have their miscarriage from being a vegan 
there's no circumstance where they would ever blame a vegan diet for any of their health problems. So I'm confused as to why a vegan influencer is genuinely worried about, oh, I don't want people to think this is what I do so it's, uh, they think it's healthy and then they do it. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. A lot of ingredients that I need to make my dip, but yeah, let's head to Whole Foods, go get my food for my dip, and then we're coming back here. Just got back from Whole Foods, and you guys know the whole time, I talking about the bread bowl, and then when I get there, their entire bakery case was empty. So it's all sold out. So I got all the ingredients that I needed, but instead I'm going to cut these up in the little pieces. So they'll be like pretzel nuggets, I think. I'm a little very disappointed. I wanted to present mine in a bread bowl, but they had no bread bowls to be made or to be bought. So I have tapioca starch. This is the thing I'm making tomorrow, but I had no idea that Silk had heavy whipping cream. Super cool. And then I got cashews, artichoke pot. Is she actually vegan is the question, because to me it seems weird that you would title your video what a vegan eats in a day and then just do things that you've never done before. Going to the Village Idiot, a new restaurant she's never been to, and then making a recipe she's never made before. I got some vegan parm, which isn't a part of the recipe, but I need it for something I'm making tomorrow. And... I thought it would be good to add in, so I'm gonna add some of that. In. This camera has been as out of focus as her brain is. But yes, that is the end of my grocery haul. Well, not really. I didn't show you everything I got. Um, but Disgusting. it is only 4 p.m. and people are gonna be here. Until Listen, am I mean for using the word dipshit? Like her, her head is literally in the clouds. There's no coherence to anything she's doing. Like 7:30, so I'm gonna put all this. Is this stuff how away. teenagers are? and go lay down in my new bed because I finally have a bed guys I'm not on a blow mattress um and I haven't got the chance to like lay in it at all so I'm just gonna go lay in my bed and watch a couple YouTube videos and then I'll come back to the kitchen in a bit and start making my spinach artichoke dip I'm excited hey guys it is time to make my spinach artichoke dip this recipe is not mine of course I'll link it down below I've never tried it so it could be good could be not good first I need to chop Onion, artichokes, and garlic. So this is that. such fucking dog shit. Why am I even watching this fucking shit? All right, so she makes a spinach artichoke dip, and then she has her weirdo friends over. But I guess we could kind of go over the nutrition of what she's eating today. So that burger appears to be just bread with some type of highly oxidized omega-6 or legume-based patty. So pretty inflammatory, not the best thing you should be consuming. At least it's calorically dense. Uh, so she's not going to completely depriving herself of calories, but ba basically no nutrition whatsoever. Maybe a little bit of liver damage, oxidative stress from all the toxins and pollutants in it. And the spinach artichoke dip, I mean, it's not that calorically dense. She's using all these high omega-6 creams and fats and, and plant-based stuff in it. P pretty bad from an inflammatory perspective because you're combining the anti-nutrients in the vegetables and the high omega-6 content of those soy-based fats. Artichokes themselves aren't the worst choice, aren't that bad, but everything else she's putting in there, pretty high in anti-nutrients. So let's see what her weirdo friends look like. My name is Melanie and I got spicy guacamole with jalapenos. And if you didn't know, you put the pits of the avocado in the bowl <laughs> to keep it fresh. Because a lot of people don't know. I'm Sam and I too also brought... <sighs> I don't mean to be mean, but we need to... Boys need to stop consuming all this estrogen. Uh, spinach artichoke dip. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Got a little too much facial Hello, hair to be sounding like that. My name is Brooke. I brought chicken nuggets, queso, and chipotle. Guac. Look, look um, am I going fucking crazy here? Am I even allowed to point out that the girls have the deeper voices than the guys? I, like when I say in past videos, like a vegan diet makes you gay, I am not joking. It will mess up your hormones. It will make a man feminine. It will make a woman masculine. <laughs> quiet on, hey, set. Quiet on set. Oh my God. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't Thank make this you. shit up. My name is Will and I brought... Um, Hi, Will. What's it is up? like a, it's like a tofu. <laughs> it's, it is tofu. It's like a tofu, cake batter, uh, dip. <laughs> Honestly, it just needs to be a little less thick and yeah. then we'd be good. Ooh, yeah. I got a lot. I yeah. Like, said a lot. Yeah. Welcome to Dip Night, boys. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know yeah. what. Full of graham crackers. What are your thoughts? Not bad. I don't think it's bad. Yeah. Wait, that's just like... This is, this is the future of, of, of the privileged middle class children. 
You, you know, to be fair, she doesn't have the sponsorships anymore, and I'm assuming it's because her last sponsorships didn't go so well. I remember one video she had like four or five in a row, and now uh, she doesn't have any. So, I mean, do I feel bad? Not really, because she's poisoning people. Uh, 32 comments on 4,000 views. Sounds kind of fishy, but this was just posted yesterday. It's the holidays. Who knows? A lot of these influencers, it's like a fake it till you make it thing. So they pretend they're popular. They get all these fake views, fake comments to pump them up. And hopefully, you know, and they're hoping it grasps, but it usually ends up not grasping. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you'd like to support me, you can check out frank-stefano.com. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube unsubscribes you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, frank-stefano.com. Thanks again, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow.